<laughs> man, he hit that thing like a rocket ship. Man, that's what's fun about fishing the pad crusher. They will absolutely destroy it. We're throwing black because of overcast. This is actually the Curo frog. But let's break down the pad crasher, give you the intricate details about this frog. When looking at the Booyah pad crasher, there's several things that I like about this frog. The contour and the curve of the belly makes it super easy to walk. It's got a V bottom just like your boat allows that bait to walk back and forth, left or right, left or right, left or right. With that V-shaped belly, it also allows you to walk it really fast or hop the bait. And to get those actions as far as walking the dog or hopping it, it's all about your rod and then how much slack that you're taking up with your reel. So you want to walk the dog, have a little bit of slack, and then you're going to just twitch that frog real slow left and right and you're going to pick up just a little bit of slack at a time not much but always have slack in your line now if you want to speed it up you're going to leave that slack in your line and you want that bait to hop you're going to twitch your rod tip faster and find a cadence with your reel that is in line and perfectly matched with your rod on how fast you're twitching your rod and that's basically going to mimic something that is fleeing from that bass that you're trying to catch. It's got a dual hook on it for a really good hookup ratio. The hooks are angled at the perfect point to where it's not too high or up and it's not too low or down, angled down. And what that does is it allows that bait to come through the thickest of cover without getting snagged, but also increases your hookup ratio. If there's one tip that I can give you is choose a color that you've got a lot of confidence in. Uh, this color, the reason I throw it, overcast, dirty water, and again, it's all about confidence for me. When you've got confidence in a bait or a color, you're gonna fish that better. And you're gonna pay more attention to what you're doing. You're gonna give the bait better action. So the best time to throw a pad crasher is spawn and on. I'll pick it up. Even when those fish are on the beds, I'll pick it up and I'll start throwing it. I'll throw that bait all the way through the fall, always using braid on a frog. No leader, straight braid. Um, even in open water fishing, you want to be able to set the hook. You want to be able to have those hooks penetrate in the fish's mouth. And with braid, you get no stretch. So your hookup ratio is going to be a lot better and land ratio. I love this bait because it's fun to fish, it's a visual presentation, you get to see the bites, and like I said earlier, it catches giants. So when you guys are out choosing a frog, take all these things that we talked about in consideration, collapsibility, hookup ratio, ease of use, the pad crasher has them all.